welcome to power electronics lecture series i professor itez dolakia is going to explain you power bjt in this session so to understand power bjt these are my session outlines where first i'll explain you basics of power bjt where we will discuss what is the difference in between power bjt and normal bjt and few more basics that i'll discuss over here with basics of power bjt after that i'll explain you structure of power bjt and in structure i'll explain why power bjt handles more power compared to normal bjt after that i'll explain symbol of power bjt which is identical to the symbol of bjt after that i'll explain modes of power bjt and vi characteristics of power bjt so there are four modes of power bjt and along with those four modes we will see vi characteristics of power bjt and then after at the end i'll sum up this session by explaining applications of power bjt so let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of power bjt now when we talk about power bjt then one of the obvious reason of power bjt is to have higher current handling capacity and higher power handling capacity compared to normal bjt so power bjt has large current handling capacity and large power handling capacity compared to normal bjt it offers high voltage resistance in off state than bjt so i'll explain you how it offers high voltage resistance in off state when i explain structure of power bjt it also offers high current handling in on state compared to normal bjt and even that is what the case which we will be going to discuss in detail so here we should know it offers high voltage resistance in off state than normal bjt and it offers high current handling in on state compared to normal bjt if you see its structure then it is vertically oriented structure and because of its vertically oriented structure it offers higher power handling capacity so that is even we will be going to discuss in detail when we see its structure now we should know this see high gain is maintained by enhancing doping level of emitter several times that of base so in its structure you will be observing emitter is having higher doping concentration and that is what we are doing it to maintain high current gain so when you increase doping concentration of emitter compared to base in that case we can increase higher current gain and when you do this at that time you will be observing it will be in it will be decreasing beta current gain beta is ic by ib so collector current divided by base current that is what beta so that is that will decrease in power bjt as you increase more doping in emitter so basically in power bjt our agenda is to increase current handling capacity and that we do it by increasing doping concentration in emitter and here by providing vertically oriented structure we increase its off state voltage blocking capacity we do it by in adding additional layer so that i'll show you at that i'll show you it in structure so it will be more clear so it handles more current so it has large metallic body to dissipate power as a heat so as name indicates it is power bjt so it handles more current and as it handles more current it needs large metallic body to dissipate power as heat so this is all about basics of power bjt where power bjt offers high voltage resistance in off state compared to bjt it offers high current handling compared to on state bjt it is having vertical oriented structure and that structure provides this facilities and over here we can increase current handling capacity by enhancing doping level 
in emitter compared to base and as we do this we increase current gain but at that time beta IC by IB will decrease and as it handles more current there has to have large metallic body to dissipate power as heat. So these are the basics which is there with power BJT. Now let us see the structure of power BJT so it will be clear like how it offers higher current timing capacity and how it has higher voltage blocking capacity in op state. So if you see its structure you can observe this is emitter, this is collector and this is base. Emitter that is having n plus region, collector that is having n plus region and base is having p region and here additional n minus layer that we are adding. Now additional n minus layer that is referred as drift layer and here you can observe there are two differences which is there with power BJT compared to normal BJT. In normal BJT there will be n p n structure but here in power BJT one difference is there is n plus p n minus n plus layer. So see instead of n we use n plus layer in power BJT. So this is one difference we use higher doping at collector and emitter side compared to normal BJT which increases its higher current handling capacity but at the same time you will be observing current amplification gain beta that is IC by IB that will decrease and second difference is additional N minus drift layer. So as you add additional N minus drift layer this structure of power BJT will offers higher op state voltage blocking capacity. Now you see when you add this N minus layer it will increase width of depletion region, region in reverse bias. So when this junction is in reverse bias because of this N minus layer there will be additional voltage blocking capacity which will be there with this power BJT structure. So in power BJT structure there are two difference compared to normal BJT. One is emitter and collector is having N plus region. This is what the diagram which I have explained for NPN transistor. So emitter and collector is having N region which is highly doped. So it is N plus region over here. And second difference is N minus region that is drift layer. So it has N minus additional region that is collector drift region and because of this collector drift region it will be having higher voltage blocking capacity compared to normal BJT. So here when this BJT is in op state it will be providing facility of higher blocking voltage capacity and when this BJT is in on state there will be higher handling current capacity because of N plus higher doping that we are adding at emitter and collector side in case of NPN transistor. So this is how structure of normal BJT and power DJT is different and because of this additional features which we added in normal BJT this BJT which is power BJT that handles more voltage and more current. So ultimately it handles more power. Now if you observe its symbols then symbol of power BJT is almost similar to normal BJT where you can see this arrow is emitter this is NPN transistor so arrow will be in outward direction this is PNP transistor so arrow will be in inward direction so this arrow indicates emitter in NPN transistor it will be in outward direction in PNP transistor it will be in inward direction this is collector this is base and this is emitter for NPN this is collector this is base and this is emitter. So emitter indicated emitter is indicated by arrow if it is in outward direction it will be NPN transistor it will if it is inward direction then that will be PNP transistor. So this is how symbol of power BJT is there. Now I will explain you modes of power BJT. Now first basic mode of power BJT is cutoff mode 
and when power bjt is there in cut off mode there are basically two junctions in power bjt one junction is base emitter junction and second junction is collector base junction and for cut off mode base emitter junction and collector base junction will be in reverse bias so in cut off mode base emitter and collector base junction will be there in reverse bias when we talk about active mode in that situation base emitter junction will be there in forward bias and collector base junction that will be there in reverse bias so in active mode base emitter junction that will be there in forward bias and collector base junction that will be there in reverse bias when we talk about saturation region then there are basically two saturation region in power bjt in normal bjt there will be only one saturation region but in power bjt there are two saturation region one is quasi saturation region and second is hard saturation region in both of this saturation region you will be observing base emitter and collector base junction will be in forward bias but quasi saturation region offers lower power working of saturation with power bjt while hard saturation region explains higher power working with given power bjt so when power bjt is working with higher power at that time in saturation there will be hard saturation and when power bjt works in lower power with saturation mode at that time it will function with quasi saturation in normal bjt there will be three different modes cut off active and saturation this polarity of junction that will remain same for both of the situation but only difference is in power bjt it has two different saturation quasi saturation offers lower power handling capacity and hard hard saturation offers higher power handling capacity in saturation of power bjt where with saturation base emitter and collector base junction will be there in forward bias now let us try to understand all these modes in its vi characteristics so it will be more clear to all of you so as if you observe its vi characteristics then you can observe see this is what hard saturation where in this saturation all will happen is like with little with little change in collector to emitter voltage you see this characteristic that is there in between collector current to voltage in between collector emitter so collector emitter voltage with respect to collector current graph is there where this graph is plotted with respect to different base currents right so here you will be observing ib is less than 0 ib is equals to 0 then we increase ib right gradually so here let us try to understand hard saturation now see in hard saturation if even if you increase little bit base current collector current will increase very sharp you can see right where here you can see in horizontal axis there is voltage which is collector emitter voltage so even if you increase little collector emitter voltage collector current will increase very sharply with respect to base current so this is hard saturation but when we talk about quasi saturation so in quasi saturation this slope is bit less compared to hard saturation where this quasi saturation functions at lower power so that is only the difference in between these two if you observe polarity of junctions then collector base junction and emitter base junction will be there in forward bias for both of this right now here this is what active region that one can see now see in this active region one thing that we can clearly notice with respect to base current collector current is increasing so with respect to base current collector current is increasing so that is what active region and in cut off region you will be finding there will be no collector current which will flow so for that we need to keep base current below zero so if you keep base current below zero you will be observing there will be no flow of collector current till now but as if you go with this voltage 
which is collector emitter voltage that is above breakdown voltage then from here collector current will start to flow where IB current is less than zero you can see from here collector current will start to flow and then it will get increased like this and collector voltage collector emitter voltage that will get constant over here right if IB current is zero in that case if you increase collector emitter voltage up to some extent and if you increase it beyond breakover voltage in that case there will be breakdown and collector current will flow so that is how characteristic is there so in this region in this region of characteristic there will be cutoff region over here with respect to base current collector current is increasing so this is active region in saturation there are two regions quasi saturation and hard saturation in hard saturation sharp increase in collector current is there right which explains you higher power handling capacity and quasi saturation region that explains lower power saturation mode so this is what about vi characteristics of power bjt now i'll explain you a few applications there are many applications but some major applications that i have listed here one of the major application is smps switch mode power supply in which we can use power bjt we use power bjt in power amplifier in ac to dc inverter we use as well as in dc to ac inverter we use power bjt in relay one we use power bjt for power control circuits we use power bjt so this is all about power bjt i hope that you have understood this session i have made this session based on the request of one student so now i think after studying this session one can easily able to understand what is power bjt what is the difference in between power bjt and bjt what is the structure of power bjt what will be the characteristics and how we can utilize power bjt thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries thank you so much for watching this video